Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's try to solve an example related to where we will be, where we'll be using two point form and also we will be leveraging angular bisector concept. So what we have to do here, find the equation of the bisector of angle A of the triangle whose vertices are A, B, C. So we have been given a triangle, we know its vertices are A, B, C we have to find out the equation of angular bisector. So let's try to plot the coordinates ABC and form the triangle. So just let me do that. So we have done the triangle ABC. Now what we have to find out is angular bisector of AB. So let's just try to draw a line angular bisector of AB. So angular bisector of AB means at angle at A should be bisected. So let us say if I start from here, let us say that's our angular bisector and let this point be x. Okay. Now what we have to find out? We have to find out equation of Ax. What we have to find out is equation of Ax. So that's angular bisector at here. We are pretty clear about that. Okay, good. Now we know A, but somehow if I am able to find out the coordinates of X, then I can use two point slope form and I can find out the equation. So as simple as that. Now only the thing is how to find out the coordinate of X. For that, we will leverage the fundamentals what we have learned that angular bisector divides angular bisector divides the opposite side or in this case we will say at A right A angular bisector divides the line segment BC line segment BC in the ratio of if I am drawing an angular bisector from A it divides BC in the ratio of the l the sides which are making that angle angle A is made by CA and AB so it will be in the ratio of AC is to AB so now I have to find out what is length of AC what is length of AB if I am able to find it out then I can use section formula and I can find out the coordinates of x. Once I know the coordinates of x, it's pretty simple now because I can use two point form and I can find out the equation. So our next step will be how to find out these coordinates of x. So step one is to find out the ratio of AC is to AB. So look at AC. AC is nothing but 4 comma 3 2 comma 3 you can see it's a horizontal line and the distance between that is very clear it's a 2 so AC is 2 what is AB AB if you look at you have 0 0 4 3 and it's nothing but 4 square plus 3 square square root so that is 5 so AC is to AB is nothing but equal to 2 is to 5 so we found the ratio now what is the second step step 2 is to find out the coordinates of x. Step 2 is to find out the coordinate of x. For that what we will do? We know the ratio 2 is to 5 that is L is to M. We know x1, y1, we know x2, y2. x1, y1 is nothing but 2, 3 and another is 0 comma 0 now 2 comma 3 0 comma 0 should be divided in the ratio 2 is to 5 you can see that you should not say 0 0 comma 2 comma 3 because you can see that 2 comma 3 the ratio AC is 2 so you should say 2 comma 3 then 2 ratio of 2 comma 3 0 comma 0 in the ratio of 2 is to 5. Now let's apply the formula. We know the section formula. If I apply it, the coordinates of x will be L into x2. This is L, this is M 
I have x1, I have y1, I have x2, I have y2, L into x2, that is 2 into x2, 0, plus m into x1, that is 5 into 2, by 2 plus 5, comma, L into y2, 2 into 0, plus m, 5, into y1, that's a 3, by 2 plus 5. So, that's nothing but equal to, the coordinates are nothing but equal to, 2, 0, 0, 10 by 7, comma, 15 by 7. Now, the coordinates are 10 by 7, comma, 15 by 7. So, we got the coordinates of x. Now, it is very simple. Step 3 is to find the equation of, find equation of ax. To find out the equation of ax, I know A, I know X, I can directly go for two point form. I know A is nothing but equal to A is 4 comma 3 and I just now I found X is nothing but 10 by 7 comma 15 by 7. Now we can leverage two point form and we will say Y minus Y1, I will go for 3, I will take this coordinate as X1, Y1 and this is x2 y2 y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1 that is 15 by 7 minus 3 divided by x2 minus x1 that is 10 by 7 minus 4 into x minus x1 x minus of 4 if I simplify this I will have y minus 3 is equal to 15 minus 21 that is minus 6 by 7 and here I have minus 18 by 7 so it becomes 7 by minus 18 if I simplify that is nothing but equal to 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 into x minus 4 or if you cross multiply 3 by minus 9 equal to x minus 4 or x minus 3 y plus 5 equal to 0 that is the equation of your angular bisector. So, the point you have to remember is from the fundamentals angular bisector divides the line segment divides the line segment opposite to the vertex A in the ratio of the sides which are making that angle that is nothing but in the ratio of AC is to AB AC is to AB in that ratio CX and XBR. That means AC by AB is nothing but equal to CX by XB. Now, you know C and B, you can find out the ratio, you can find out the coordinates of X. Now, by that, once you know X, it is pretty simple. You can use two point form and you can find out the equation. So, in the next session, we will look into some more interesting problems. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now. See you again.